well, Merry Betwixtmas, that's between Christmas and New Year's. Um, I have a French country thrift haul, a bit of a, an unboxing and how I styled my thrifted items. So I'm going to start with a gift that I got from a very dear friend and this was just such a surprise and she got the inspiration from my Fortnum and Mason video and she said well if they can do it she can do it and boy did she ever. It was such a lovely surprise. She did her initial on the top and then I opened it up but it was wait I've got to tell you first of all this was so heavy and I opened it up and it was just full of the most wonderful surprises. Um, there were, well, there was wine, there was Christmas preserves, there was a bottle of white wine, there was a bottle of red wine, there were our British treats, the Jaffa cakes, there were Ferrara Rocher, there were lint chocolates. Uh, she'd even got to the trouble of making um, scones with whipped cream, which was in a little container in the bottom. Um, there were preserves. There was just, it was so much stuff in this basket. It was just lovely. Um, and right in the bottom there, you can see them wrapped in paper, were two cups and saucers, which were the Christmas transfer wear from Johnson Brothers, which was such a beautiful set. So this now means that I can start looking for that because I've got two of the set. I have to look for them all. So thanks, Carrie. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, yeah, it was. It was a really lovely surprise. And it's, I mean, this is the gift that uh, keeps on giving. It's, uh, we can use this over Christmas, you know, in the new year. And it's just, and then I get to use the basket as well when I'm finished. I'm going to put it in my hallway and keep the, uh, winter hats and coat um, scarves in it and gloves and there's the set there so it was really a beautiful gift so thoughtful must have taken her ages to do this and put it together but uh, it really was appreciated I mean just so lovely and thoughtful to the thrift haul I've decided this year I'm gonna try and get back to my French country style a little bit more it was I'm finding I'm pulling towards that when I'm out it's what's catching my eye so it just happened that whatever I picked up was just happened to be a lot of that stuff that was around and available so I'm going to this was the room that I started my first Christmas decor in so this is the room I'm gonna start by taking the decor out. So um, I have a couple of little things that I was going to change over. Um, I have the two little plants that I've got, the plant pots, I'm going to be making those over. There's um, a candlestick, two candlesticks, I can only find the one. Um, that's going to be painted out and the box, the cigar box is going to be painted out as well. So I'm going to also take the boat pictures and they're going to go back in the living room and I've got the two French pictures that I made before Christmas that I'm going to be putting up in their place. So uh, back to the haul that I've got. This um, quilt is, I think it was a dollar. It's not a massive one but it is so pretty. I just, I think it's probably one of my favorite things that I've picked up. It, it's slightly, it looks slightly aged, so it, it's just lovely. I'm really pleased with that find. The box was something I picked up a couple of weeks of, ago. It's fabric. Um, I'm not sure if I'd showed this in, in one of my previous hauls, but hey, who doesn't want to see Toile again? So, um, uh, a little while ago, just about six weeks ago, we had a light go in the bathroom. We had this lovely modern style chandelier with lovely glass hanging um, jewels on it. And it went, the motherboard went and it couldn't be replaced. So I took all of these beautiful crystals off and I have now about 30 of these. And 
they catch the sun beautifully so what i've done is i've added them to some of the lights the chandeliers this one it turned out really nice on um, the other one on the other side of the room that might be a little low because some of my kids are quite tall <laughs> but um, I'm going to start putting them on um, some of my candlesticks and that's another project though that'll, that'll be in the next couple of weeks I'll be showing you that this was really luxurious fabric this um, mustardy very provincial French provincial looking um, this mustard color I think that might go with the chairs that I was going to do in the spare room um, I haven't done them yet. Again, that's another upcoming project, but I think those will look really nice with the dark wood. So that's um, that's probably going to be going up in the attic room um, on those chairs. This little cherub stand was, it's just really, really pretty. I figure with this one, I'm going to try and distress it and make it look a little bit more concrete or, you know, a little, a little bit more aged if I can. So we'll see how that one turns out. Um, I don't know how I'm going to use this yet. That was four dollars. Oh, um, various. I'll give you the various prices as we go. But um, this was a great find. This was, I think, two dollars. And I'd picked up a couple of these just recently in the blue. And I've been looking. I've been looking for them for a long time, but um, haven't been able to find any. And I found three in, in a matter of weeks. So this uh, little uh, candy jar is is one. The one beside it is, uh, I think this was a dollar actually, this was from a couple of weeks ago. This is a little bit more muted, the blue, and then I think I picked up another one which was even bigger. Um, that was two dollars and I picked that up in a previous haul, I showed that one. So I'm hoping to put these few together on top of my dresser in my living room um, and hopefully change that out after Christmas. These two uh, little bushes were so pretty especially for a dollar each I'm not sure if I like the little lilies in them but I think I could probably live with them for a little while um, the actual um, plant pots are a bit uh, da well, not damaged but they just don't they're not brilliant so I'm going to paint them out and have a little bit of decoupage French decoupage that I think I'm going to add to the front of those um, this little um, cigar box um, it's embossed I've had this for many years it was just sitting in my room you've got to excuse my camera <laughs> it was all over the place I didn't realize it was quite so bad I, I usually use a, a steady but I could, didn't have it with me so here we go anyway so this is uh, going to be painted out and distressed and also the um, candlestick beside it is uh, is going to be uh, painted out and distressed you can see this is this is embossed so i'm going to see how this turns out when i do it so i might paper this um decoupage it as well so we'll just see we'll see how the uh how they look once they're finished so um you can see this uh candlestick i have got two of these like i said but i can only find the one and this doesn't just go with my um with my style so I painted that little table a couple of weeks ago and I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm just going to paint it out white, give it a couple, three coats of white paint and then distress it as I go. So we'll see how this turns out um, at the end. I'm not sure. I'm, I might wait and find the other one and do them both together. Um, but the pots turned out really well. I'm pleased with how they turned out. So this is the first little pot that I did. I give it a quick coat of white paint and then decoupaged over the top and then ran the white paint over it again just to sort of blend it in. And this is how I styled them. Um, the front hall was, uh, well, I took the Christmas decor down in the front hall and then um, I decided that it was uh, gonna c try and complete that uh, French country look so um, I wanted to keep it very basic so I, I a bit more symmetry as well so I put the pots with the trees on either side of that console table and then I took the horse which was in the library and just positioned that in the middle and I think it's a nice balanced look and again with that mirror it just looks lovely. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can see I also stacked my baskets under the console table and this is I have gloves I have scarves I have hats so this is handy to keep in the hallway keeps them out of view as well so that's that's great and those baskets they just come in so handy Back in the library, I put up the pictures of France, Versailles and Paris map and it looked really nice on that wall, especially when the light's on at night. Um, the little Christmas tree was on this table and it's just a little display table. It's got some really cute little things on, so that looks uh, really pretty. And it's just cleared everything up and uh, everything looks so clean and white now after the Christmas decorations come down. Well, that's all the changes I've made for now. I will be taking down the rest of my decor and trying to incorporate a little bit of winter decor, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to try and get a video out before the end of the week with a little bit more progress and an update on some of the items that I've, uh, I've worked on. <laughs> 